हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल एंड माय नेम इज बलराम प्रसाद आई एम वर्किंग विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज ए सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द सेम टॉपिक हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट स्नो फ्लैग विद अजूर रिलेटेड सर्विसेज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट अजूर सिक्वल टू स्नो फ्लैग यूजिंग अजूर डाटा फैक्टर सो वी आर गोइंग टू लेबरेज सम ऑफ द लिंक सर्विसेज क्रिएटेड इन previous videos so you might want to watch that one if you don't understand that one so please watch that one let's go into portal if we see that our uh, sql azure sql database we have one table called movies database now i want to ingest this movies data to snowflake so that for that purpose i have created a dummy table over there movies and you can see the table details and other things and in data there is no data right now so i am going to use our adf flow and we are going to create that one so for that one let's see that one we have already snowflake connection and how to create the connection you can see in previous videos so if you are using blob services to snowflake then it works perfectly fine without a stage but if you are using any other linked services with snowflake then you have to enable a stage and it will put into stage first and then go with that one so let's create a azure sql linked service right and then we can go ahead and we can select that one i can go with manually and if you go in manually we have to provide all the details but i can go with manually here and see that which server i have and which db i have now server name is what is the server name so we can uh, user admin name i can go ahead and see this one admin and let's me try with what is the password i set that one so let me see okay so now this is our linked services for azure sql database now let's go into author section and let's try to create one more pipeline which say that azure sql to snowflake right and we can add that transform uh, move activity copy activity copy data from azure sql to snowflake and in the source setting since that okay so in the source uh, setting we have to create one because we have not created from azure sql data set so we can go ahead and create not this one azure sql database and then we can say that this is movie table movie table right and then we can use the linked services now loading is happening now we can go and select that one and we know that this we have the schema so we can import from schema right and in the sync section uh, we can say that okay we have to put into movie table and movie table is this one we have created into previously when we did the blob and storage to this one so if you see this one this is the connection and this is the schema which we are going to leverage if i publish this one i see that there is a error that direct copying data flow data to snowflake only supported when this is the source data set and with blob storage or amazon s3 rest we have to enable the staging so let's go for enable staging which go to section this one uh, setting one enable that se setting and we have already in previous video we did that blob store stage and blob stage is a blob um, uh, linked service we can provide and then you can um, give that which container is going to use for the staging purpose and that's all we have to do so let's publish this one and let's see So now let's trigger this one okay and let's go to monitor tab and then see what is happening so it is now right now into queue and it is in to queue right now it is everything is going to assign it is in progress right now and i told you that it is sql database to azure blob storage and blob storage to snowflake and all of our resources in west us too so see this one and then it is going right now it is succeeded to push into blob and from blob it is going to write is into snowflake so let's see how much time it is it will be fast but 
let's see yeah so it is succeeded if you see that how much row and other thing is there so data is read into this one thousand record thousand one record is there let me go and see this one with the into our snow flag one so it's no flag if i do that one i can see this uh, div is filled with record so this is how we are connecting that Azure SQL to Snowflake and in other things, vice versa or whatever we want to do, we can do that way. So we, I, I wanted just to show you how relational to the relational database can uh, be transferred using the stage and other things. So that I wanted to show you with you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.